गाइज लेट्स मीट ऑन पी वाई क्यू का बाप सीरीज ऑन ई मेडिकोज ऑन सेवेंटीन फेब फ्रॉम फोर टू सिक्स पीकू पीकू क्या है पीकू इज प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन वेर एल बी डिस्कसिंग बायो केमिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन आई बी सेट एंड फॉरन मेडिकल ग्रेजुएट एग्जाम इन प्रीवियस फ्यू इयर्स सो लेट्स कैच ऑन सेवेंटीन फेब ऑन ई मेडिकोज प्लेटफॉर्म how it is being done okay let's see a glimpse what i'll be doing on that session come join so let's see this question which was asked in previous iniset exam in this question they are asking the ketosis is common in type 1 diabetes and which of the following is not true in this context so if i talk to you regarding the ketoacidosis seen in type 2 diabetes mellitus you must know that the culprit is the increased fatty acid in the blood which is going to get oxidized in the liver cell this is the adipose cell which is the storehouse of triacylglycerol and this is the liver cell this is of course the blood circulation the fatty acid is mobilized from triacylglycerol lipolysis by action of one enzyme known as hormone sensitive lipase enzyme this enzyme is going to be active in lack of insulin and presence of glucagon because this is the enzyme which is active in phosphorylated state and type type 1 or type 2 diabetes which is characterized by lack of insulin or insulin resistance you have action of this enzyme which is causing the lipolysis mobilizing the fatty acid this fatty acid enters the mitochondria in the liver where it is undergoing beta oxidation and excessive beta oxidation result in ketoacidosis the reason is more of the acetyl coa which is produced by the excessive fatty acid beta oxidation is not at all utilized in the tca cycle hence that is diverted for ketone body synthetic pathway so ketoacidosis results due to formation of ketone body from this surplus acetyl coa so if you just focus on this question and see the options which of the following is not true increased fatty acid beta oxidation is the right statement this actually is a true statement increased mobilization of fatty acid from the triacylglycerol also happens increased acetyl co in the tca cycle does not happen so this is the answer in this question because acetyl co is diverted for ketoacidosis already lot of acetyl coa has been utilized in the tca cycle saturating its co substrate like nad and fad so acetyl coa is not allowed to enter the tca cycle rather it is diverted for ketogenesis so what is not true is increased acetyl coa in the tca cycle increased beta hydroxy butyrate synthase is absolutely right statement because you see in ketoacidosis this enzyme is up regulated because of more formation of beta hydroxy butyrate is required when acetoacetate is converted to beta hydroxy butyrate so this is how the questions are being asked little twisted but we have to understand the core concept which will help us to rule in or rule out the various options thank you very much for more such discussions join pyq on 17th feb